Yeah, we did, Kim, and people have been stopping by here all day to pay their respects together. Whether they knew the victims or not, they all share that sense of loss. What's lost in a list of 10 can't be put on one piece of paper. 10 people who lost their lives. It hit me like an absolute freight train. I was supposed to be here. There's a loss yeah. of feeling safe. Felt, felt safe, past tense. I don't know where you really can feel safe anymore. If you can't go to the grocery store, where can you go? We have really wonderful people here. Jeff Hooker lost his coworker, Ricky Oltz. He called her dynamite. She was a manager, a good one too. <sighs> Alan Woolley lost his friend, Terry Liker. They did Special Olympics together and he used to work with her at this King Supers. So in shock, her smile and made everybody feel good inside, you know, every day when she was working. Beauty and Boulder usually bring solace, but even that is a reminder of what is gone. You know, I took a long walk today and got to see the sun on the flat irons, and I thought, wow, 10 people didn't get to see the sun on the flat irons this morning. That sense of loss compelled people to bring the beauty here to a place where lost people find each other. It's shocking and I don't know how else to wrap my head around it besides coming back to see the damage done and pay my respects to the people who lost their lives for absolutely no reason. And while we were here today, we met several of Ricky's coworkers. My colleague, Jalisa Irizari, sat down with her family today and Jalisa, they wanted to tell her story. Yeah, that's right, Katie. We spoke to Ricky's uncle, Bob Old, who, of course, is heartbroken over this situation. He said Ricky was just 25 years old and was a front end manager here at King Supers. He actually says she worked there or worked for Kroger for about six years now. He said they knew she was working on Monday, but didn't know she was killed until about three this morning when they got a call from the coroner's office. He says Ricky was a fun, free thinking, independent young woman who loved her family, but also as she was mostly raised by her grandparents and aunt and uncle and shared memories with all of them. He adds that's the hardest part about all of this, the fact that she won't be able to make any more. She didn't get to experience motherhood, marriage, any of those things. I mean, it was taken from her. And what? I keep going back to why. Now, Bob may not have that answer, but he is finding peace in knowing that Ricky is reunited with her grandfather, Richard. Kim? Okay, thank you so much, Jaleesa. And so many people do make their career working at King Supers and hard workers, so Ricky, one of them.